Hey, what's going on guys? Hedder here, back with another video. Thank you so much for being here again. Let's go ahead and uh, see what are we going to have for next week. What are or what are the expectations? Is it going to continue dropping? Um, or um, are we going to have some type of pullback? Okay, this was pretty much last week. Look at how this candle closed, this weekly candle. Big rejection uh, to the downside. Um, let's see maybe if the next candle will cover that one so this week the market could continue dropping or are we going to see maybe some type of bullish candle okay maybe it's starting to show rejection at the 12,000 psychological level right here this area which is a it's a very strong it's very strong in the past by the way um, let's see let's see if we're gonna have some type of rejection okay that's how i was looking on the weekly if we go on a daily already starting to see that bullish engulfing and candle which was i mean the entire week was pretty much bearish and friday uh, actually ended up uh, correcting um but it's been you know the market actually has been very very crazy and just going sideways doing a lot of fake outs so um in this setup that we spotted on Friday on the VIP group, pretty much uh, like right now we're going in, you know, like very easy, like not risking too much because we know markets are not being very friendly right now uh, since, you know, it's going like very hectic. Like as soon as the market pushes up, you might think, okay, yeah, I get it. This is a nice you know pin bar right here the market could potentially continue up no the market goes down and even get lower and then when when it does that it you know it skyrockets again and even gets higher than this then it drops again so it's been like that pretty much for like two three weeks now three weeks about three weeks now so uh let's see if this is you know this is the rejection right here to the psychological level let's see if we're gonna end up actually pushing up okay I am sure we're going to have some type of correction or the price, the market could just maybe get to that point and just continue dropping again. All right. Pretty much for the entire week. Um, so not not like not trusting the markets too much, but still we're pretty much following, trying to follow, hoping for the best and like hoping for the market to, you know, or, or the, the actual news that are happening right now. Everything, you know, the inflation in the United States. The war in Ukraine, <clears throat> you know, hoping and watching, being very uh, careful with the news since we're having a lot of fundamentals involved this this last few days. So uh, US 30, if you go on US 30, you also see all that noise. The market, it's been dropping, but very weird and a very weird formation. Look at this, all, like all this noise. You know, it goes down, then it goes back up, then it goes down. So you have a, a bullish candle followed by a bearish candle, then another bullish, and then another bearish, and then another bullish, and so on. And it's been like that, you know, it's it's pretty much up. You know, definitely not feeling like we want to trade it. And so let's see. Let's see if this at least are, is, you know, or some signs of the market starting to push up now since it's starting to climb back on top of the 32,000 psychological level right there the price was rejecting right here finally breaking a little retest and push up again then another retest so let's see if we're gonna have just a bunch of noise the same day here in this area maybe pushing up or going back down again you know it's it's crazy how the market is doing so trying to catch just you know uh, scalping entries even though scalping it's very dangerous in this position you know hmm Maybe maybe scalping on a five minute and just trying to catch 50 to 60 pips, maximum 100 pips and out, you know. So S&P 500 also basically uh, looks like that push was kind of nice, that rejection on the 3900 psychological. And it looks like it's climbing back up on top of the 4000. Uh, this was some type of trend. Remember, right now, I would not trust this thing to even hold it all the way to the top like we were doing pretty much last year 
uh, swing trading uh, but right now as I mentioned things can get pretty bad and we're still can get in we're still inside basically this consolidation so uh, the market could come back down again and just continue playing around and maybe fall continue falling again okay well it's very complicated right now to say hey the technical analysis right now are are being affected by all these fundamentals all right definitely so uh, it's all based on news right now so things are still bad they haven't gotten any you know any better so um, as I mentioned before normally in these type of markets normally if the market is, stays the same like inflation is the same you know we still have the same thing the same issues in Ukraine no changes at all the market maybe in a week or two the market could take that as positive and could push up but doesn't necessarily mean it that it will continue skyrocketing later on no it might correct a little bit yeah maybe for two weeks you know pushing up and then again for some reason fail again due to this maybe another news maybe waiting for the next month to see the nfp to see maybe the core cpi you know those news are very very um, affecting the markets right now so monthly you know so let's see anyways what's going to happen let's see if this is going to mark up the beginning of the uptrend um we're seeing some divergence in there on a four hour let's see on a daily on the daily there's a big divergence as well coming from this point creating lower lows and here this is a lower low and this is a higher low right here so let's see anyways uh, what's gonna happen be very very careful uh, if you want to follow me now on my free group on my telegram you can find the information you can find the actual link in the section uh, in the description below you can see that I'm actually posting uh, setups in there pretty much free information here and there for pairs for indices as well okay and I'm offering this uh, bundle right now um, which it's, it's you have a 40 uh, we have a 40 percent discount for the actual bundle so you will be getting pretty much a uh, my course my mentorship and a vip signal group for life for only 70 dollars okay if you want to check it out just go up on my website teamprofitsfx.com or just by going directly on um my uh, telegram group right there free and you can ask me directly all right thanks again guys for watching please subscribe if you find this information helpful i'll see you in the next one take it easy guys Thank you.